Right now, Brittany Griner is on a plane headed for San Antonio, Texas. Russia freed the WNBA star in a dramatic high-level prisoner exchange. ABC's Alex Presha breaks down that deal. Well, good morning, folks, and it is a good morning. After 294 days detained, WNBA star Brittany Griner is free. This is video of her right before she was released into U.S. custody. It was taken by Russian state media. Griner's wife, Sherelle, beaming at the White House today. Today, I'm just standing here um, overwhelmed with emotions, but the most important emotion that I have right now is just sincere gratitude um, for President Biden and his entire administration. Griner's now en route to an Army Medical Center in San Antonio, Texas. Arrested in February at a Moscow airport for carrying vape cartridges containing hash oil, Griner was sentenced to nine years on drug smuggling charges. The U.S. brokering a deal to exchange her for convicted Russian arms dealer Victor Boot, who was serving a 25-year sentence, both pardoned as part of the deal. The sports world reacting to the news. Griner's WNBA team, the Phoenix Mercury, and the NBA's Suns releasing a joint statement, calling the release miraculous and merciful, saying we no longer have to bring BG home. She's on her way. Her Team USA Olympic coach, Don Staley, emotional discussing the moment she got the news on ESPN. I cried, and I, I'm a girl from Philly. We don't cry very easily. But still in Russian captivity, veteran Paul Whalen, who's been detained on sham espionage charges since 2018. He called into CNN from prison. I'm happy that Brittany is going home today and that Trevor went home when he did. But I don't understand why I'm still sitting here. Secretary of State Antony Blinken insists the U.S. has made every possible available offer to secure Paul's freedom and that this was not a choice of which American to bring home. It was a choice of one or none. Alex Brashe, ABC News, Washington.